Hi Lisa, I was wondering if you could speak on the note of energy in the heart area I'm experiencing while moving forward during my self-inquiry 24-7. I have been doing a lot of consciousness work and that seems to be where my energy wants to be freed up. Also, I don't know much about your background, so I was wondering if you could speak briefly on what you do did to reach liberation, unity, enlightenment. So the feeling in your heart, um, or the contraction in your heart, I would say is unconscious thoughts are manifesting as a feeling. And that you're becoming more aware of it now because it's becoming unlocked and freed from your body. I don't want to push onto you too much what those thoughts are. Like you've got to explore it from yourself, for yourself. But you can put your attention into your heart area and just begin to pay attention to that. ask yourself questions what is this what do I want here normally in the heart area there's more feelings of feeling not being loved sadness loneliness feeling abandoned so you can just see that if you can't get there then what you could also do is you could see what thoughts arise when you put your attention there You could also call in now and we could work on it more in depth. It's hard for me to do it um, over live stream, but you need to have a microphone and I don't need to see you, but I need to hear you well. Um, as to my background, um, throughout my 20s there was lots of seeking for many years and doing many different practices and um, living in a very remote place with my teacher for three years and then at the end of that there was a big shift in recognition it wasn't the end on the human level it's on the human level that recognition is digest and processed and there's still the change and this body's still expanding and growing and changing so there was this shift to seeing nothing in the human Nothing in pleasure, nothing in time frees you. What frees you is what frees you is what you are, which is this. What's been yeah, what so what's, what's been And do you have that, does it feel bound or does it feel tight now, the heart area? Um, not specifically, not in my awareness right now. 
Yeah. Can you remember when you have that feeling come up, any emotions or sensations that are happening in there? Yeah, so what normally gets felt in the heart area is this is this sense of lack of love. So when we when we identify a young age at 2 or 3, we always feel like we lost something and predominantly what we feel like we lost is this connection with everything. And we feel we still feel love, but we normally feel it normally comes and goes. We normally feel connected at points when but when you're a kid, when your mother interacts with you, maybe when you eat, when you're having fun. But then there's other points where you don't feel love, where you feel sadness, abandoned, um, all other types of feelings. And before you started thinking, there was just connection all the time. But then when you began to think and imagine yourself, you began to feel connected and love, and then abandoned and not loved. And this goes on throughout life. And, and as we grow up, we're always looking for that connection with other humans. And we're always looking to be loved by other humans and to feel like we fit in and we've got a place. And as that, that happens, it grows. And what also grows is the opposite end, the feeling that you're not loved, the feeling that you're abandoned and that you're lonely. And as we go through time and we grow into adults it gets stronger the seeking for love and the attempt to avoid that loneliness and that coldness and that sense of feeling cut off and what happens in our heart area then is we get funny energies there like we get tight energies there not all the time but maybe something happens and the energy gets tight maybe we just think about something and the energy can get tight and we're not even conscious of it we just think of a person and we feel abandoned and it sort of gets stuck in the energy um, in the energy of the body and it's a very unconscious thing and then when you're meditating what happens is it begins to get released because you're not diving into everything so your first you first said it was a lot more um, about getting things in the world and as that began to pass then it's more people orientated and what will come up in your body is all the feelings that are related to people and I'm sure that throughout your life you've often felt abandoned and alone and so it's just that energy condensed into the body and it's absolutely not true and all that needs to happen is a seeing that it's not true so you acknowledge it you acknowledge what the feeling is if it's I feel not loved or I'm afraid of abandonment or I'm afraid of being alone and this is something you'll have to do privately is work out what that feeling is and just see that that's not true that you aren't yeah, alone yeah. that you're not abandoned that you're not a singular person but it's all coming up now these unconscious thoughts that you've been taught and hypnotized into by society and so you've been hypnotized that freedom comes from connection with people in time and so in order to think and feel that, you also have to have the opposite, that 
being alone is feeling disconnected, that there's loneliness, there's despair, there's abandonment. So you have these thoughts inside your body and it's just seeing they're not true. As you begin to slow down by meditating, they're all beginning to come up more or they, or they present themselves to you and all that it needs to be seen is not true, not true, not true, that's not who you are. And loneliness and a sense of disconnection does not separate you from source. That's still happening in presence. It's not true that you've lost something in that. It's a belief system that believes you have and then buys into it and then seeks to find a solution of it in time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that does definitely clear up a lot. And um, one thing that arose too is um, when, when working through this stuff and, and just trying to make like, trying to continuously make like tangible like progress and and really like experiential changes that are happening a good amount and and continue this continuous expansion how necessary do you think it is to to be in an environment where it's just that to be where to where you're not working where you're where you're not, you're no longer in obligations to the world. Um. I think it's necessary most probably to go through a period of detoxing from that detoxing from what your reality was so in society in your job and seeing that it's not true but um, I always think that it needs to come from you and you need to see what your motivations are behind that thought so you need to understand what's happening in your body to create that thought. So is that because other people are saying it to you or is it something you'd like to do? And yeah, yeah. like, like that's, just that's one thing for me is it's it, no one, no one really said it. I just, um, it's just, it almost, it just seems like the most logical thing to do when, when putting focus into this work and, um, and trying to know who I am, like I, like I got a glimpse, but that's nothing. That's not like the ego's back. It's it, there's nothing. And now I'm just operating in normal life again. Where, where also, it, I've seen ta very tangible progress in just the the weeks, the past couple of weeks. But at the same time, I yeah, I just. So I, what, do you, what do you what do you think? Just going with the flow yeah. So, what do you think that the everyday life is doing to you? Like in a negative. For me? Yeah. It would, um, it has, it has both, because it has both. For me, I, f I find, um, being conscious and aware, and I have like a, like probably the least stressful, it's a little bit stressful on my body, but the least stressful in terms of working with people and, and I just have a job where it's just me and doing my thing, like, on my own time, pretty much. But I find at my job, it's very hard to stay present and stay with the inquiry. Stay yeah. with my inquiry. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different layers to that, because at some point you have to begin to question who's inquiring and what presence is but at the moment it sounds like you need to you need to go through the stage of of doing that first the inquiry first um and are you sure that there's nothing that you're trying to run away from in that job no yeah i'm not running away from the job of, and i think it 
might just be one of those things that like it's I'm I'm kind of I've only been doing the constant I've been meditating for a while but I've only been um, like constantly trying to be conscious even when I'm not in the mode of actually meditating so just making everything meditative pretty much but I just find that at work and for some reason yeah but nothing nothing there gives me any reasons to like run away from it per se yeah so what what is being conscious to you what does that mean it feel like to to be present does it come with a particular feeling or sensation to it happening which is really beautiful in you is it is you are already present without without putting any effort into it there already is presence there's instantly consciousness so you know listening to me like everything is inch instantly being aware there is an instant awareness of it so you're instantly conscious of my voice you don't put any effort into it you just hear it but what's happened over your life is your mind has got distracted by always thinking about everything and getting lost in thought and there's nothing wrong with that there's actually a consciousness of that mind activity that activity that's lost in thought there's an inherent consciousness aware of that but what your mind is actually doing now so that active one that's thinking and believing it's choosing and doing all these things is it's turning around and looking at that presence that you already are and it's attempting to line itself up with that presence and in moments when it does that, there's a dropping away of you being separate from everything and there's an intimacy with everything. And that's really, that's really beautiful. But, but really, ultimately, it, it's not your action to become present. It's something that happens. But that's beside the point. At the moment, this is what's working for you and it's really beautiful. I would... I would put more attention into why you're becoming not present in certain circumstances what's pulling you away from certain things yeah okay yeah, so I'm when you um, when you're doing the ceiling saying it hurts is there something in you that's saying I don't want to do this and as soon as it starts saying I don't want to do this I don't want to do this I don't like this is there something then that goes off into fantasy like is there a feeling that arises in which you then go off into fantasy of thinking about something else. Um, yeah, and and there, of course, there. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't like to. That's exactly what arises. Is um. It's just this like this like hot kind of like this like rising heat and like pissed offness, I guess, and um. Just yeah, just like this, uh, almost like a. Uh, this resistance and then I notice like when I really really don't like it I'll like look at I'll look at the clock which is yeah. 
which is even funnier, and I'll look at the clock, and I'll be, I'll just be like, oh, God, like, <laughs> this is, it's just, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. So this is this is where I would then go into your your feelings of what you feel in that moment and just notice what's happening unconsciously in your body. So what you're aware of consciously is that your mind is drifting into thoughts, you're looking at the clock, you're wanting it to be over and just look at what's happening in your body, like acknowledge the sensations that's coming up in your body. You don't need yeah. to do anything about them, it's just notice that your body's tensed up, your body's contract contracted and that you're not enjoying this. Mm -hmm. So just, just notice that. Just notice it. Just notice that that's what's happening. So then your tendency of your mind goes off. What eventually happens is eventually it all begins to line up again. So you, you become more and more simple on the human level. You get to know the human better and better. And then it's like your feelings arise and then there's an action from your feelings and there isn't all this like um, unconscious process that they go through, this unconscious dance of you trying to avoid something, of you blaming the situation, blaming someone else, of you fantasizing about being somewhere else, about a better job or anything else. You just get more and more simple. So you, you begin to go back more and more into the simplicity of being human. So so in that situation you realize there is pain and that there okay. rather than at the moment there's like lots of resistance and there's lots of tactics to try and get away from it so it's like there is pain here i don't want to do this but yet i have to do it because of these reasons so you just you just see that you see no other animal would put itself in this situation where it has to do something super super painful to itself for a long period of time it will do it for bits of periods of time but because of our mind our thinking mind we do abstract things which create us pain and we don't see results from because we can think I've got to do this because of money I've got to do this because of the mortgage and um, whereas an animal it's a lot more simple for an animal an animal doesn't have this complicated thinking mind so it might be painful hunting an animal and killing another animal but it's quite immediate so the pain is quite immediate, whereas the human is more complicated. It starts having all these complicated thoughts and fantasies. It reminds itself of when it was at school and when it was uncomfortable at school. So then it has unfe uncomfortable feelings coming up from school. It reminds it's you know, it has all this ability to think. So it associates it with lots of other things. And all you need to do is become more simple. So just become more and more aware of yourself. And the more and more aware you come, the easier it will be, or the more that attention will stay in who you truly are, which is that boundless freedom. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my phone oh. is um, I'm losing power. <laughs> oh, that's that's all right. Yeah, everything came through really clear, and um, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. That's a pleasure. See, sometimes what happens is that, you know, we have these ideas, I've got to lose my job, and then we do rash things, and we put ourselves in these these situations because we have an imagination that it's about leaving the job, when really it's about more about understanding yourself. Yeah, yeah, and I, I have become aware of that, where I just, like, now I just don't try, I don't try and do too much, and in terms of like me changing things about my life or doing like this and that and like there's obvious stuff where like yeah I'll eat healthy and do stuff like that like the like the norm like yeah stuff that stuff that benefits me as as a human but like in terms of like should I quit my job or not or like am I in a good relationship or like do I need to be with this person if I'm going to be more conscious or something like that all that like all that like bundles of confusion I was noticing so now I'm just like yeah now I just like you were kind of saying it's just try and keep it simple yeah and then the more simple you take it so the more that you take it back to yourself what will actually become more clear is what you truly want and then you will be able to act and then the action to leave the job if that's what's going to happen or the action to change relationship will happen but first of all become more and more simple 
understand yourself better and then your natural wants will come and your natural wants will feel more like a flow rather than like something you've had to mentally think about for hours and days and weeks. It will be more of a, you'll just know. There will just be a more of a sense of what the body wants, that it doesn't want to do something or it wants to do something or it wants to change something. Nice. It sounds like it's um it's going well. Keep it simple. So I meet so many people that keep it that get super complicated about this subject, but what you're doing sounds really simple and really nice, so that's Yeah, good. thank you. And I, I appreciate talking to you and you making the videos and Oh it's a pleasure. Helping helping people out and that that's really the only reason I'm doing any of this in the first place. And I I wasn't aware of that until I guess like halfway through this year, is, uh, I just wasn't aware of um, the what I was looking for in the first place. Yeah. Because then once I found it, I realized that that's what everyone else is looking for too. Yeah. 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 The whole world is looking for presence. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Well, really nice yeah. to speak with you. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for answering. Yeah. Lots of love. Thanks. Bye. Bye.